All right, now for the dosage calc formula method. So as you know, formulas can be used for some dosage calc questions. The most popular formula method is referring to the desired over half, or basically D over H times the Q, the quantity. So this formula, as mentioned before, looks like this. D over H times Q equals our desired amount here. So as you know, D is the desired or prescribed dose of the medication. H is the medication you have on hand. And Q is the quantity associated with what you have. Now, X is the amount of medication you are going to administer as the nurse to the client here. So just remember, D over H, like drinks around the house, times the quantity. So let's see if we can identify all the components required in this formula. For example, a client is prescribed 500 milligram dose of acetaminophen, that Tylenol, for a headache. The medication on hand is 250 milligrams per capsule. How many capsules does the nurse administer to achieve the client's prescribed dose? Okay, so let's set this up. D over H, drinks around the house times the quantity. So the D is 500 over H, which you have on hand, is 250 times 1 capsule here. So 500 divided by 250 is 2. So we're going to give 2 capsules. All righty, now that we've identified all the components for the desired over half formula, let's discuss some other important information here. In order to use this formula, D and H have to be in the same unit of measurement. If they're not, you must convert them so D is able to match the H and vice versa. This can be accomplished by setting up a ratio per proportion equation here before using the desired over half formula. Now, this is done to calculate how much medication to administer to the client here. So you have to convert this between milligrams and micrograms or from grams to milligrams, etc. So when calculating how many tablets or capsules to administer to a client, the Q will often be 1. Okay, so for example, 250 milligrams per capsule means 1 capsule. So the Q here. And that contains 250 milligrams for the H, which you have on hand. So when calculating the volume of a liquid to administer to a client, the Q is often in mLs, milliliters. So for example, 500 milligrams in 10 mLs means 10 mLs, the quantity here, contains 500 milligrams, what you have. Okay, now let's talk about rounding your final answer. For example, you calculate a dose that is 0 0.826, and the question instructs you to round the answer to the nearest hundredth place. Therefore, the number is in the thousandth place is utilized to determine if your final answer is 0 0.82 or 0 0.83. Now, if the number in the thousandth place is less than 5, then your answer is 0 0.82. However, if that number is 5 or greater, then we just round up to 0 0.83. So your final answer is going to be 0 0.83. Now, when calculating a dose for a pediatric client, you're never going to round up. Therefore, for this example, the correct answer is 0 0.82. Now, if you're not provided instructions regarding rounding about that final answer, a good rule of thumb is as follows. Answers that are less than 1 record your answer to the hundredth place, or two spaces past the decimal. So for example, 0 0.846 equals 0 0.85. We're just rounding up there because of the 6. So if a client is a child, then your answer is going to be to round down or basically do nothing, 0 0.84. Now answers that are greater than or equal to 1 Record your answers to the tenth place, or basically one space past the decimal. So, for example, 1.45 is 1.5. So, if a child is given to you in a scenario, your final answer is going to be 1.4. Okay, let's break down question one. The healthcare provider, HCP, prescribes oxycodone, 7.5 milligrams PO for a client with a cancer diagnosis. 
The medication on hand is 5 milligrams per tablet. How many tablets does the nurse administer to the client? Calculate the dose and record your answer. All right, so let's break this down. First, identify what you're solving for based on the question provided. In this question, you're calculating how many tablets or tabs the client should receive to achieve the prescribed medication dose. Next is to set up the equation, desired over have, or basically the formula method. So remember, D over H times Q. So drinks on the house times the quantity. So what is the desired prescribed dose here for the D? Well, the doctor ordered 7.5 milligrams. And what is the dose you have on hand, the H? Well, H is 5 milligrams per tablet. And is the H in the same unit of measurement as the D? So yes, now we're moving on here. Now for the Q, what is the quantity here? So Q for the H is one tablet. So the formula looks like this here, 7.5 over 5 times one tablet. So we have 1.5. The correct answer is 1.5 tablets per dose. All right, question number two here. The healthcare provider prescribes low presser for a client with hypertension. The medication prescription or order is 25 milligrams PO, and the dose on hand is 50 milligrams per tablet. So how many tablets does the nurse administer to the client? Okay, let's break it down here. First, identify what you're solving for based on the question. In this question, you are calculating how many tablets or tabs per dose the client should receive to get the prescribed medication dose here. Next is to set up the equation, the formula method. So D over H times the Q, the quantity. So once again, what is the desired prescribed dose here, or basically the doctor's order? So D is 25. What do you have on hand? Well, we have 50 milligrams for a tablet, and the D and the H match because they're both milligrams. So let's move on. Now, what is the quantity? So the Q is one tablet. So we have 25 over 50 times one, and that is 0 0.5. So we basically give 0 0.5 tablets per dose. Now for question three, the healthcare provider prescribes 50 micrograms here, PO levothyroxine, for a client with hypothyroidism. The dose on hand is 25 micrograms per tablet. How many tablets does the nurse administer to the client? All right, let's break it down here. First, identify what you're solving for in the question. So in this question, how many tablets or tabs should the client receive here? Next, we're going to be setting up the formula method, desire over have. So D over H times the Q. Remember, drinks are in the house times the quantity. So what is the desired prescribed dose? Or just think D is the doctor's orders here. So D is 50 micrograms. Now, what is the medication dosage you have on H on hand? Well, H is 25 micrograms per tablet. Now, just remember, the D and the H have to match, microgram and microgram. So they match. Now let's move on. Now, the quantity, how much are we giving here? So we're giving one tablet. So setting it up, it looks like D is 50 over 25 times one tablet, and then we determine our correct answer here. So after doing the math, the correct answer is two tablets per dose. All right, question number four. The healthcare provider prescribes 20 milligrams of propanolol, that beta blocker, for a client with hypertension. The dose on hand is 20 milligrams per tablet. Now, how many tablets does the nurse administer? So once again, let's break it down. We're identifying what we're solving for. So we're solving for how many tablets or tabs we're going to give to this client, right? So we're using the formula method here, D over H times the Q. So D for doctor's order, or basically dose prescribed. H is for what we have on hand. So D is 20 milligrams. H is also 20 milligrams, that's pretty simple, and the Q is the quantity. So this is a really simple question. 20 over 20 times 1. So our correct answer here is 1 tablet per dose. 
Question number five. The healthcare provider prescribes 40 microequivalents of KCL. So don't get scared. It's just a microequivalent. Just look at the big number here, 40. Now, this is prescribed PO for a client with hypokalemia, that low potassium. The dose on hand is 20 microequivalents. So how many tablets does the nurse administer to this client? So once again, let's break this down. First, identify what you're solving for. We're basically solving for how many tablets or tabs the client's going to receive. So we're setting up this formula method, desired over half. So remember, drinks are on the house times the quantity. D is for the dose or desired order prescribed here. H is for what you have on hand. So the D is 40, H is 20 here. And just remember, the D and the H have to match in terms of the units. So they're both microequivalents, so that's good. So 40 over 20 times the one for the quantity here. So after doing the math, the correct answer is we're going to give two tablets per dose. Moving on to question six, the healthcare provider prescribes 250,000 units, oh my gosh, of penicillin IV for a client with a bacterial infection. The dose on hand is 1 million, oh my goodness. Okay, so a million units of penicillin in key number 10 mLs. Okay, now it's getting a little bit tricky. How many milliliters does the nurse administer to the client? All right, so let's break this down and don't sweat here. So first, identify what you're solving for. What we're solving for is how many mLs the client should receive to achieve that prescribed dose. So once again, we're using this formula method, the desire over half. So just remember, D over H times the quantity. So what is the desired prescribed dose here? Well, D is 250 units, the doctor's order. Now, H is what you have. 1 million here. So we just put 250,000 over a million. And they're both in units, so they're the same. So let's move on here. Now the Q, look at the question. The Q is not one tablet here. The Q is 10 mLs. That's the quantity. So the formula should look like this. 250,000 over 1 million times 10 mLs. Then we do the math. And after doing the math, we get 2.5 mLs per dose. So the correct answer is 2.5 mLs. Okay, question seven. The healthcare provider prescribes 20 microequivalents, KCL, the potassium, intravenously, IV infusion, right? For a client who's hypokalemic or low potassium. The dose on hand is 40 microequivalents of potassium in 30 mLs. How many mLs does the nurse administer to the client? All right, let's break it down here. The first thing we have to do is identify what we're solving for. We're solving for how many mLs the client should receive, right? Next is set up the equation, desired over half. We're using that formula method. So D over H times the quantity. So D is the doctor's orders, or basically the dose prescribed. So D is 20 microequivalents. The H is for what you have on hand, so that's 40 microequivalents. Now, they're both microequivalents, so we are good here. Now, the Q, what is the quantity? So just look at the question. It's 30 mLs. So the formula should look like this. 20 over 40 times 30 mLs, right? So first, 20 over 40 is 0 0.5, right? And 0 0.5 times 30 mLs is 15 milliliters per dose. So the correct answer here is 15 mLs per dose. Now moving on to question eight. The HCP prescribes Benadryl 30 milligrams via IV push for a client scheduled for a procedure. So the dose on hand is 12.5 milligrams per five milliliters, oh my goodness, in 30 ml vial. So how many mLs will the nurse administer to this client? Okay, now you can see it's getting a little bit more difficult. All right, so let's break this down one by one. So first, we're identifying what we are solving for. Well, we're solving for mLs per dose, right? Next, set up the equation desired over half, this formula method. So D over H times the quantity. 
So the D is our desired or basically prescribed dose. So that's 30 mg's. Now here's where it gets tricky. The dose on hand is 12.5 milligrams per 5 mLs. Now is the H and the D correct or the same really? So yes, 30 mg's and 12.5 mg's. Now what is the quantity here? So the quantity or basically the Q is 5 milliliters. Now this question was a little bit tricky because it tried to throw you off with that 30 ml vial. So the formula question or the formula should look like this. 30 over 12.5 times 5 mLs. So first determine 30 divided by 12.5. So that is 2.4. And 2.4 times 5, that is 12 mLs per dose. So the correct answer is 12 mLs. And the healthcare provider prescribes phenobarbital 30 milligrams PO for a client as a sedative. The dose on hand is 20 milligrams in 5 mLs. How many mLs does the nurse administer to the client? All right, this should be getting more simpler here. So as you know, we're using the formula method. We're solving for mLs per dose, right? So D over H times the Q. So doctor's order, or the dose ordered here, is 30 mg's. Over what you have on hand is 20 mg's per 5 mLs. And the D and the H are the same here in terms of milligrams, so that's good. Now moving on to Q. Q is simple, 5 mLs. So your formula should look like this, 30 over 20 times 5 mLs. So 30 divided by 20 is 1.5, and 1.5 times 5 mLs is 7.5 milliliters per dose. So the correct answer is 7.5 mLs. Now, question number 10 here. The HCP healthcare provider prescribes acetaminophen, Tylenol really, 500 milligrams PO for a client with a headache. The dose on hand is 250 mg's per one capsule. How many capsules does the nurse administer to the client? All right, this one is really simple. So let's just break it down. So we're solving for capsules to give to the client, right? We're using the formula method. So D over H times the Q, drinks on the house times the quantity. So what is the D here? The D is the desired or prescribed dose. So D is 500 milligrams. The H is what you have on hand, 250 milligrams per capsule. Now the D and the H are the same measurements. They're both milligrams. So let's move on. Now Q is one capsule because that is the quantity. So setting it up, it's going to look like this. 500 over 250 times one capsule. So 500 divided by 250 is two. And two times one for one capsule is two caps per dose. So the correct answer here is two capsules. Question 11. The HCP prescribes gabapeptine, 400 milligrams PO to a client with peripheral neuropathy. The label reads, 400 milligrams per one tablet. So how many tablets does a nurse administer to the client? All right, let's break it down. So as you know, we're using the formula method, right? We're just solving for tablets per dose. So let's set up that formula. D over H times the Q. Drinks are on the house times the quantity. So D is the dose ordered. So we have 400 milligrams. H is for what we have on hand. Wow, super simple. 400 milligrams. It's literally the same. So now let's move on. What's the Q? The quantity is one, right? So one tablet. This is the simplest question in the world. So 400 divided by 400 is one times one for one tablet. Our correct answer is one. 